And a special thanks and shout out to Masterpiece, Classic Cars, and New Whiteland, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Today, we'll be taking an in-depth walk-around look at this very nice Survivor 1973 Pontiac Grand Prix Model J. And this Grand Prix is in starlight black. It has the black vinyl interior. And Grand Prix are rear-wheel drive. This one is powered by the 400 cubic inch, 6.6 liter, four-barrel V8 gas engine. It is made to GM's three-speed turbo hydromatic automatic transmission with super and low gear selectability. All GMA bodies, including the Grand Prix, were redesigned for the 1973 model year. This generation was larger and heavier due to the new federal mandates and bumper designs. Another federal mandate was new emission control standards. The Grand Prix would switch from the pillarless hardtop design to a pillared colonnade design in response to a proposed but never materialized federal rollover protection standard. Front and rear styling of the 1973 Grand Prix turned out to be an evolution of the 1971 and 1972 models, with the vertical bar V-nose grille, single headlamps, along with the new federally mandated 5 mile per hour front bumpers. The rear featured a revised boat tail-like trim with square taillights above the bumper. Although the third generation Grand Prix were indeed bulkier and heavier than the predecessor, handling was actually good for a large car due to the improvements in suspension design. The vehicle also introduced the use of radio applied tires and that really helped the handling as well. All right, we're going to take a look inside. Inside this car is very, very nice and very well kept for an unrestored survivor. As you can see, the door trim features no cracks and the upholstery is in nice shape. It does have the African Crossfire Mahogany trim, carpeted lower panels. You also got manual mirror adjust on the sport mirrors, chrome door poles, and manual wind up windows. And inside does feature the dual bucket seats. You've also got a nice wraparound cockpit style dashboard. Down below you have your hood release, parking brake release, your wiper washer controls as well as your lighting controls. This vehicle does feature a tilt steering wheel.
All right, pan through the interior and show in a little more details. Since this is a Model J, it doesn't have the rally cluster. It does feature just the analog clock, a fuel gauge, and various warning lights for oil, temperature, and other features like that generator. It does have a 100 mile per hour speedometer. Minimal cracks on the dash. This is an air conditioning car, so the three air vents. And below that, you do have your air climate control. You also have a cigar lighter and a deluxe AM FM radio. Large ash receiver. Here's a look at the cigar lighter. Automatic transmission controller. And you've also got a covered storage bin in the center console. Overhead, you have a manually dimming rear view mirror, sun visors, and also a nice headliner that has perforations in it. All right, taking a look at the rear seat. The rear seat does seat three across. It is a fixed bench seat. It has three position lap belts. The African Crossfire mahogany trim continues in the rear seat as well. Outboard passengers have pull-out seat belts, while the middle seat just has a fixed lap belt. All right, and a quick look inside the trunk reveals that there are four snow tires inside, but the trunk is nice and spacious. The mat is not present, however. And this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at this very nice 1973 Pontiac Grand Prix. We hope the video was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.